Hello everyone, my name is LebdaGD and welcome back to Geometry Dash. So today we're doing a level that needs no introduction. We're doing Windy Landscape. I think it's the most downloaded Insane Demon. I don't know. Maybe it is. You all know what this level is. It's a woogie level. It's Korean. So it's pretty weird. But we're gonna do it anyway. Um, by the way, this is not even like next on my list. Uh, I know I just did like Supersonic. I think chronologically in terms of video videos i think this comes right after supersonic i interpret depends on how i edit them or whatever um this is like in my regular demon list is way further down than i'm doing it right now basically um and that's just because i kind of just wanted to do it I, I i'm way more like just more of the mindset currently of i want to do whatever level i want so we're doing windy landscape um and it's, I mean, it's good. I wouldn't say it's a bad level. It's a lot better than people make it out to be. Um, especially my friend Loxy, who I think he quite hates this level quite a lot, which I do not really understand. Um, but I will agree that it's a little bit annoying at places. There's some weird antics you gotta do in this level. Um, some parts are a little bit broken. Um, but that's just the way it goes, I guess. Um, this beginning is actually pretty tricky. I would say it's one of the harder parts of the level, if I'm honest, this beginning. Um, I mean, there's one ship part at like 30, which is absolutely the hardest part of the level. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I just, basically, I only was like really seriously practicing it today for like an hour. Um, cause I've been, I have been playing this on and off for the best part of it, like two or three years now, just to like, Hey, you know, maybe I'll do this someday. Um, and I think even on my old account, ballplayer606, I tried this, um, and actually when I went through my hacker man phase, I actually no clip this level. Just like I know clip like Bloodbath and shit as well. Um, but that's far behind me now. I didn't know that no clipping is not really that fun. So Anyway, we're getting we're getting somewhere actually. This is interesting. Ah, damn. Yeah. Okay. You have to like in those uh, in that platform you have to hit the second one of the free jump rings that are hidden inside of the platform there. Um, and that's actually one of my least favorite parts of the level. Um, and I did get past it, but then I messed up the timing that comes after it. So that's uh, that's not great. This first 3% is really annoying as well. Um, it's it's kind of hard to get it right. You have to hit the slope in a certain way and then jump. But I, I've gotten a lot better at ship and stuff. So the ship parts are really not a big problem for me anymore. Which is definitely a good thing. Because... Um, Honestly, the difficulty of this level kind of relies on ship for a pretty big part of it. I would definitely say, like, Supersonic is harder than this. Um, but that also just might be my warped perception of Supersonic being really hard because it's broken and bad. Um, this is much less broken and bad. Okay, here we go again. This is the hardest part. Yep. I was expecting that. There's a click pattern you have to do there. Um, that usually works for me. And I got pretty far with the click pattern, but it's still like a really hard part, so I mess up. I've been kind of laying off of the Geometry Dash over the last couple of months. Like, after I beat Cataclysm, I really haven't been invested into the game at all, if I'm honest. It's kind of like... You know, you beat Cataclysm and all of a sudden you feel like you're on top of the world. Hold on, yeah. You, f you feel like you're on top of the world. Um, and then basically playing anything else just, just doesn't feel as good. I don't know. Um, I've been, I mean, I've been practicing AQ. And who knows, by the time this video go out, goes up, maybe I'll have even beaten that level. Um, but it just doesn't give me the same kick as like playing Cataclysm for some reason. It's really weird. Maybe it's just that like first extreme feeling is kind of 
worn off after you've of course beaten your first extreme and then Accu just kind of feels like just another level you know you gotta do it doesn't really feel like a milestone so what I might actually do is just completely like forget about Accu forget about entry extremes and like go for like something like bloodbath or something like that um, I know I was playing Deception Dive a lot, which is a bit of a step up from Cataclysm, not that much, um, but it's a little bit harder. And I was really enjoying that until I got stuck at the end, of course, because the end is fucking impossible. Um, but I was really enjoying that, and, then, and I just thought to myself, maybe I should just do something harder, instead of like doing five entry extremes and then jumping to like a little bit of a less entry extreme I guess uh, gotta shoot for the stars get, that will give me that kick of like working on something for super long I don't know okay that that yellow orb is weird it's killed me twice now I'm under the impression that you have to buffer that, but I think it's kind of reliant on how you hit the triple spike and the jump ring before that. I don't know, it's really weird. You could probably tell, I haven't practiced this beginning very well at all. Um, keep dying to like the first 10% or so, so that's not really uh, all, that, uh, all that cool, all that good. Um, but it will come over time with consistency, hopefully. Ah, I died on the UFO part. Damn. That UFO part looks really hard, but it's actually one of the easier parts of the level. It's really interesting. And also, because this is an early 1.9 level, I, this is like very early at 1.9, I'm pretty sure. Like, the wave parts are free. Like, <laughs> they're not hard at all. Which is definitely a nice bonus. Crap. I need to get past that 30 part. And then there's actually the hardest, hardest wave part of the level is after that. And it's still not that bad. Um, but I might die there. And then it's like a free UFO part and then it's the drop, so... There we go. Ah, yeah, I held down the button too long. Yeah, I kind of figured I'd die at that wave. It's the hardest wave part, but it's still pretty easy. Ah, I hit the fucking edge of the, of the slope. Yeah, that second part of the ship is also pretty tight. Um, kind of reminds me of like the effort UFO. Or like that one part in the ultimate phase that Wookie also made. Kind of reminds me of those levels. And it's hard. Oh man, I doubted the UFO. That could have been a drop attempt. No. I'm having fun. I'm having more fun than I thought I would. That was so stupid that I died there. That is so dumb that I died there, but we got to the drop. Yes. I would have loved to have gotten farther into the drop. But at least we got there. Goal achieved. <laughs> um, of course, I'm gonna try again. Uh, I'm gonna keep trying for a little bit longer because that, that's kind of dumb that I died to a literal double spike. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's the first time to the drop. Yes, let's go. Oh man. Okay, that was kind of my goal uh, for today. Um, of course, my main goal is to just beat it today. That would be very cool. But if I weren't to beat it, at least get the 62. Um, that's one of the harder parts of the level, um, the ship. Uh, it's 
It's kind of inconsistent. Just because I'm not very good at like flying with duels for some reason. That's like a big weakness for me. Like duels and then like a ship or a wave. That's like the hardest. That's that's the hardest thing for me. I don't know. It's really strange. But um, at least we got there. Now it would be really awesome if I were to pass it. And that's the dumbest death you can have on this level. That's the single dumbest death you can have on this fucking level. I died on the blue orb in the transition to the drop. I am so dumb. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that, that really fucking hurts. That's fucking dumb, dude. That... was the dumbest death. Except for the one that I died, like, at the UFO part in between the drop, I guess. I'm not supposed to hit the button there, there's a jump pad. I can just go under the jump pad and don't have to press the button. Why did I press the button? I've made that mistake quite a few times in practice mode, and it's really dumb. But I, for some reason I can't help pressing buttons there, I don't know what it is. It's really weird. That's so dumb. God damn it, I'm good at flying, dude. I shouldn't be dying to that. <laughs> oh well, we got 73, it's okay. We got past, like, the actual drop part, at least. What? How the fuck did I die there? Did I hit the orb too early? Could have hit the orb too early actually, that might be valid. I missed the ju missed the fucking orbs! Dude! <laughs> How did I die in the UFO? Oh, wow, dude. I hit the... Um, uh, pfft, uh, yellow orb. I hit that too early. And I, like, hit the top somewhere. I don't even know how that really happens. But it sometimes just happens. You hit the yellow orb too early and then you, like, hit the, the ceiling of something and then it takes a long time to go up. Could have saved that by not holding, but uh, in the moment you're not thinking straight, so... I died. Okay, well, 85. That's kind of actually one of the more expected places where I was gonna die. What the fuck? 75? I'm, I just wasn't, like, focusing at all. I was just flabbing about a little bit. Just doing like, oh yeah, let's just, let's just play the level, guys. Let's just do it, yo, and not even like focusing on the level. I went way too early on that jump, and that's annoying because I died at 83, and I thought I wasn't gonna die there, and I wasn't nervous at all. Which is also definitely, like, a good thing. I held down the button too long. I held down the button too long, and I died at 85 again. Oh well! I mean, that part is kinda bullshit, if I'm honest. Um, one of my least favorite parts of the level. And also certainly not one of the easiest, but it's ah, it's kind of frustrating that I died there twice. I died on the fucking ship? Are you kidding me? I'm dying to so many places post drop and it's infuriating. I... Ah. 
Right on the ship again? Bro, what is happening? I'm getting unlucky on the level again. <laughs> and in this in this case, it's just because I'm throwing. Because I'm not nervous at all whenever I get to the, like... Whenever I, whenever I get there to the end of the level. Like, I'm just thrown because I'm not nervous at all. And I'm just like, ah, let's try this, shall we? Let's ah, beat it, and, ah, whatever. Just kind of that attitude. <laughs> and it's not really helping my chances. <laughs> I died on fucking mini cube again. Oh my god. Bro. Let me beat this, bro. I got a lag spike. I got a lag spike and I fucking died at the ship. Ah! I'm not even gonna say anything there. I'm just gonna practice that part now because it's fucking stupid that I died there so many times. And I still did it wrong. Of course! Of course! First attempt! First attempt after practice! And I make the same mistake again. I am just the stupidest person alive. Oh my fucking god, dude. I held the button down too long again! Are you serious? Are you actually serious, dude? Why does my brain switch off whenever I get far? I don't get it! Bro! What the fuck? And now I didn't hold it long enough. That's four deaths in 85 as well. I have five deaths in 83 and I have four deaths in 85. And that's that's that. Um, no reaction out of me because I've I'm not nervous, as you could probably tell. No shaking, no nothing. Not even a high heart rate, I think. Although I don't have a heart rate monitor, so I may not be entirely correct on that. But uh, we beat Windy Landscape, I guess, after an hour of recording today, and also probably like forty minutes yesterday. Um, that was really good. I really liked that for some reason. Like, I've heard from people that it's bad or, like, shit like that. Bloxy really hates the level, I'm pretty sure. Or, like, at least he, like, dropped it. He got 85 and then dropped it. So it must have been a pretty infuriating experience for him. Um, but I had a really good time with it. Even though I got really unlucky. I got 83, I think, four or five times. I don't really remember. And I got 85 four times. So I got really unlucky, but I still enjoyed it thoroughly. Um... Yeah, it's just really fun. It's really unique and weird. Like, Wookiee's levels always have that kind of weirdness to them. And and this is just even more weird. So, yeah. But, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. So, if you did enjoy this Jump to Dash episode, and also, if you enjoyed Windy Landscape, let me know in the comments. But, please smash the like button and subscribe if you, enjoy, if you enjoyed this video. 
and also hit the notification bell and i'll see you in the next episode of geometry dice i don't know what we're gonna do because my demon list is all fucked up and i kind of just kind of want to do what i want to do so we'll see but uh, anyway yeah uh, until the next one i guess goodbye